Test in here. Good morning, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This morning we are here from Glad Tidings Tabernacle. For those viewing on the internet, we want to welcome you this morning to our service. We trust that as we come together to lift up the name of Jesus, your hearts will be blessed, our hearts will be blessed, and most of all, God will be pleased. So I invite you to stand with me at this time. Those of you who are here, and let's just think for a moment on the goodness of God and all that he has done for us this week. And let's just give him some praise. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. We thank you for your mercies that are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, O God. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, your name is worthy to be praised. You are from everlasting to everlasting. You are Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You're our Jehovah Jireh, our provider. You're our healer, our deliverer, our shield, our defense, our strong tower, our refuge, our rock in a weary land, our shelter in times of storms. We give you thanks, Lord. We give you praise, Lord. We thank you for who you are. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And even as we continue to give him thanks, we invite Sister Vicky Comerbatch to pray for us at this time. Father, we thank you, O oh God. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for your mercies, O oh God. We thank you for your love, your kindness, your goodness, O oh God. And Lord, we take this opportunity to magnify your name. We take this opportunity to lift you up, O oh God. And we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this day, O oh God. Today, September 13, many of us we have to say thank you, oh God. As we look at 2020, oh God, we have to shout, thank you, Jesus, for your mercies. Thank you, Jesus, for your love, your patience, your protection upon our lives, oh God. Many that don't have that chance. Many didn't have that opportunity, oh God. But we say thank you, Jesus. And Father God, even as we go through this day, as we go through this service, oh God, we ask that your presence would be manifested in this place, oh God. That you would reign upon your people today, oh God. That your anointing will fall fresh upon our lives, oh God. As we magnify, as we glorify, as we lift your name on high. Oh God, we thank you for this day. Those who are here, we cover them underneath your precious and mighty blood. Oh God, we cover their families. We cover their, their homes. Oh God, we cover their workplaces. We cover everything, oh God, underneath your precious blood. And oh God, we cover their service right now, oh God. We bless the minister. We bless the musicians. We bless the worship leader, oh God. Lord, everything would be done in glory, in your name, in your glory. We say thank you, Father, for everything that you do. Blessed be your holy and mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just give God a clap offering as we give him thanks again for his goodness. You may have your seats for a while. I just want to really welcome those of you who have come today into God's house. He has been good. Hasn't he? He has been good. And so we've just come to give him a little of our time to say to him, God, indeed, you are good. Do we have anyone visiting with us for the first time here today? No first time visitors. We welcome everyone. And those of you, 
As we said earlier, who are joining, joining us via the internet, we welcome you. Do we have anyone celebrating a birthday today? Or this week? On Wednesday, happy birthday when that day comes. And we have the father of the house, the leader, and we really are honored to be led by this blessed man of God. And his birthday is this week. So we want to wish him a happy 